The Alliance of the Word shall be our aid, and Expedition Leader Numankaret shall guide you. My heralds, reach out to the very deepest corners of the Gate Network and deliver our message. The Queendom has returned. The Boron are back in the X-Universe, and they're making a big impact. A strange jump gate has suddenly appeared in a neutral sector, which is causing anxiety among the different races of the X-Universe. To avoid any unforeseen complications, they dispatch an exploration team composed of members from various factions. However, with the factions typically divided, this joint effort is expected to be fraught with difficulties and disagreements. What kind of secrets and thrills are in store for you is a mystery yet to be uncovered. Join me on an exciting journey to explore the many wonders of Kingdom End. I, Numankaret, welcome you in my capacity as commanding officer of this expedition. As in previous expansions, there will be two different game starts which will allow you to begin the story from different perspectives. However, these starts will merge early on in the game and you will have the opportunity to play all of x 4 storylines from there. No spoilers here. You will find another video later this week about the storylines and their specifics. Before we start, a short interlude. This video has no placement, but you can support me and this channel by buying the new DLC through my link in the description. It is for GOG and doesn't cost anything extra. You can use this link for any other games on GOG too. Thank you so much. And now, back to the video. At first, telling exciting stories wasn't Egosoft's strength. And many players missed it or even completely ignored the story because there were no earth-shattering decisions to be made. However, this has improved over time even though X is still not particularly known for its profound stories. The writing got better, and with Kingdom End, it's at its peak. The mystery of the closed gates is a well-choreographed path, which, at the end, will solve the puzzle. Goodness me! It worked! I made the jump! Ha <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Of course, we already know better who is working on the other end of the jump gate and we eagerly anticipate the Born hopping, um, swimming, or flying through it. They are back and completing the X universe. Fall back. The energy is spiking. Bernd Lehan, founder and CEO of Egosoft, has already commented on this in several interviews and said that the sectors are now complete. He explained this, among other things, in an interview on my channel, Captain Collins, which you're welcome to check out to learn more about X4. If the universe is now complete, is this the last expansion for X4? Bernd Lehan says no, which I personally like, because the focus will now be on improving gameplay or the stories within the factions. I expect to see many exciting ideas to address the previously mentioned weakness. But let's focus on the current status and take a look at what we can expect from the Boron. For the first time in the X series, they are fully interactive and you will have the chance to learn about their unique civilization and engineering prowess. The Boron live in water and their ships and space stations resemble organic creatures that you would find in the ocean. The Boron's engineering prowess is evident in their ship and station designs which are more intricate than ever before. The ships and stations appear to pulsate with life, as if they are organic creatures riding on the ocean waves. The deep blue color of their vessels is mesmerizing, evoking a sense of tranquility and calmness that is characteristic of the Boron race. It's as if the ships themselves are meditating, granting the onlooker a rare moment of peace and serenity. But the Boron civilization is not all about aesthetics, as they have some distinct resource needs that make them stand out. Unlike other races, they require water for constructing their buildings and ships, which presents a unique challenge for their supply chains. The Boron's fleet may not be the largest, but what it lacks in variety 
it more than makes up for in quality. Two impressive carriers, size X and L, stand out as the crown jewels of their fleet, able to launch squadrons of deadly Mako and Barracuda fighters. If you are seeking born fighters, there are only a couple of choices, but they pack a powerful punch. The Mako, a nimble and agile light fighter, is equipped with decent weapons. But it's the Barracuda that truly steals the spotlight. With more shield energy than some corvettes and an arsenal of four potent weapons, the Barracuda is a force to be reckoned with. In addition to their fighters, the Boron offer a range of ships for mining, scouting and career duties. But their focus is on building sturdy and resilient defensive ships. The Boron fleet also offers a decent range of ships in the M-Class category, designed to suit a variety of needs. The heavily armored transport ship Dolphin can transport resources safely even in the most dangerous sectors. The two mining ships are unparalleled in their class, allowing you to harvest resources with ease. And for those who prefer a more aggressive approach, the Thrasher gunship is a favorite thanks to its 8 turrets and impressive armor. The Hydra Corvette is another standout ship in the Bourne fleet, with a massive shield capacity that rivals even the formidable Rattlesnake Destroyer. Fans of large spaceships may not like to hear this, but in size L there is only one destroyer and the previously mentioned smaller carrier, in addition to the obligatory trade ship and two different mining ships. I personally love the name of the trade ship, the Sturgeon, which looks similar to the fish and carries its cargo like the Sturgeon carries its eggs. The design is really well done. The destroyer, called Ray, is also a true visual spectacle. The Boron's largest offensive spaceship appears graceful and dignified in space. Thanks to parallax occlusion mapping, it looks really three-dimensional, and the lighting since version 6.0 turns Egosoft X4 into a unique experience. This graphic effect is one of the features of the overhauled x 5 engine of the space game. Other improvements include more intense lighting that allows for stronger contrasts, significantly higher shadow visibility and much less detail pop-in, as well as shorter loading times when starting a save file or saving the game. The overall performance has also improved slightly, but X4 is still relatively demanding and requires not only a good graphics card, but also a strong CPU and a lot of RAM for maximum details. After all, the game simulates all spaceships, objects and economic changes for the entire game universe in real time. I also play Star Citizen and other space games, but I rarely marvel at spaceship models as much as I do in X4. Chapeau. Overall, the Boron civilization in X4 is a unique and fascinating faction that offers players plenty of exciting ship designs and gameplay challenges. Their highly detailed ships and distinctive design choices make them a standout faction in the game. And their focus on robustness and defense capabilities adds a layer of strategy to the gameplay that is sure to keep players engaged for hours on end. But wait, there is more! The Boron ships come equipped with unique weaponry, shields and engines that are organic to their design, making them exclusive to the Boron race. Their iron weapons have the ability to slow down other ships, giving them a tactical advantage during fleet battles. This is new for energy weapons. Though it was already part of the game, EMP and interceptor rockets were able to manipulate engines before. Now. The focus on fighters and the ability to slow down enemy ships also makes high-explosive torpedoes a viable option. Let's talk a little bit about new stations. As mentioned earlier, these also require water for their construction. Unlike the Terrans, however, the Borns are content with using the same production materials as the Argons, Teladi or Peronids. The Boron inhabit what are called oases and require medical goods and the famous Bofu, which is known from previous parts of the series for their workers. Bofu has a very interesting taste and is only palatable to the Boron. They even like to make Bofu burgers out of it. 
One particularly intriguing feature is the Boron Luxury Dock Area, which boasts 4M and 14S class landing pads and bears a striking resemblance to its Terran counterpart. Join me and my audience with the Queen. Me? Meet the Queen? This is also overwhelming. Egosoft is a small team, yet they continue to astound players with their dedication to the X4 universe. Recently, they released a free update that has revolutionized the game, version 6.0, which will also be available at the same day as the DLC. They've introduced a state-of-the-art physics engine, the same one used in Horizon Forbidden West, and have given the lighting and shader effects a major overhaul. Dubbed the X-Tech 5 engine, it's a complete rebuild of the game. And all of this is happening in real time, without significant difficulties for players. While there are still issues with fleet control and navigation, the improved collision detection has resulted in AI that behaves slightly better than before. However, don't expect any miracles. Veterans of X4 will know this, but new players may find themselves frustrated at the overwhelming number of menus. However, these menus are necessary to reveal the unique sandbox universe that is fully simulated around you. That is the strength and weakness of the series. A well thought out and complicated economy that must produce everything to function. With all the races from previous DLCs included, this is fully realized. Entering system. Kingdom end. The team is also working on a multiverse, which will offer an individual type of multiplayer that allows cooperation while still maintaining the single player aspect. An open beta for this is expected to be available this summer. No further information yet though. To wrap things up, it's clear that X4 Foundations is an expansive and intricate space simulation game that offers endless possibilities for players who are willing to invest the time to learn its complexities. With the release of the Kingdom End expansion and the ongoing development, there's never been a better time to explore the vast universe of X4. So whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to the series, grab your spacesuit and get ready for an adventure like no other. And if you're wondering why I didn't talk about everything in detail in this video, that's because you will get a lot more videos during this week until launch. So thank you very much for your interest and I wish you continued profits. Anna. And yet, you did not let these dreadful circumstances deter you. Welcome home, Ozotar.